And the only time that women are naturally, exceptionally physically strong is when it comes to childbirth. And that's amazing. Yes. It'd be amazing if those were all men with like really high pitched voices. <laughs> it's an amazing amount of superhuman strength that unfairly women only get to tap into when they're having a baby. You only get to tap into that superhuman strength once, maybe twice a year, but that second baby's gonna be very tiny. You only get to use it then. That's a disproportionate amount of strength. Mother Nature's playing a cruel joke on us. Do you know how many pounds of pressure per square snooch inch it takes to deliver a baby? We're not even using our hands. You're like Python-like digesting a goat. Like, Get out of there. Using fucking grit and rage and like a mother's love, but just, ah! Sparta! He's fucking going. You can do that with your body, yet the rest of the year, we have trouble not doing push-ups on our knees. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> We're only exceptionally strong when it comes to children. We have something called mama bear strength. So that means when your child is in danger, your child, someone else's child, sorry, Junior, your child. <laughs> Lift that piano off your legs yourself, okay? I'm not your mama. When your child is in danger, in that moment, through adrenaline, you can develop superhuman strength and save that baby. So if your child is trapped under a car, you can go ahead and flip that Buick like an orangutan, like no problem. <laughs> Yet if you're a single girl walking alone on a Saturday night and some maniac runs at you, what's your defense? Like, no, two plus two is four. <laughs> More millennials would probably use our phone calculators.